um, it's just somewhat the wiki house, so we don't really shower when we're here, and um, we just woke up. Okay, so this is basically a wiki page fetching uh, results dynamically from Yahoo services. Uh, it can fetch from any service as long as it returns JSON data or YAML, um, and it supports pretty much like normal features in TikiWiki where it can have a plugin and have random criteria, so well, let's say Montreal, which is a good city, I like it. Uh, so it's just going to get remote pictures from it. See the thing. Uh, as far as the wiki syntax goes, it appears to be a normal plugin, which is called YIMG for Yahoo Image. Um, and it's just a search criteria as a parameter, and it's using the default display mode. Otherwise, you can change the display by defining um, smarty syntax to do rendering loops, conditions, uh, whatever. All the data written by the service is contained in the response. Uh, in fact, what it does is a plugin alias. So you just define the uh, YMG plugin. It's a web service plugin. Then you write the plugin definition, which is name, description, uh, and validation levels, which are used to display the uh, plugin editors and a few other things. Uh, this plugin has a single parameter called criteria. And you can define a default body in which you can pass various parameters by giving them uh, tokens that are going to be replaced. Mm -hmm. Param parameters are defined just under work. You could have many others and do pretty much anything with them. Uh, this is for the display part because the web service plugin uses the body as um, the template. Yeah. And then the web service also has a URL plugin, so you define it. Well, in the URL plugin, you're going to put this Yahoo URL, which is the uh, returns JSON the way you request it, and I just pass in the criteria parameter again, which I define as criteria, and I ask it to be URL encoded to fit nicely. Yeah. So all it does is a plugin alias to the web service plugin and you can use it in the page. But basically it could be used with any kind of service. Brilliant. Just explain to me what JSON is, because I don't know what that is. Oh, JSON is a data serialization technique. Yeah. That's it. It does nothing else. It's going to take an array and put it into some exchange format that works across languages, so quite a few services use it. What sort of things use, produce JSON, use JSON? Uh, like most of the big websites out there, like Yahoo has all their services in JSON, Flickr can do it as well. Yeah. Um, and the goal is to have TikiWiki to export its data in JSON to yeah. be able to use it elsewhere. So we've got Flickr, Yahoo, well, and anything. other services. You could just search you can Google. Just drag it into TikiWiki. That's probably going to give a decent list. Never tried this before. Okay, so you have Yahoo, which is a big one. Jill, I don't know what that is, uh, but there are already many services out there using it. Uh, and YAML basically does the same thing. So. And earlier you said this would be really good in a corporate environment. What sort of thing do you mean? Well, if you have external systems, you can just write a simple script to throw out data in JSON or YAML or yeah. the way you want and just. Uh, use the generic templating engine to include content in your wiki page yeah. and do stuff like dashboards. Which should be great. Yes, you would like it. We would, we love it. <laughs> Thanks so much, it's fantastic.